This video will teach you how to write entire radicals as mixed radicals. To begin, we're asked to write the entire radical as a mixed radical, and we're looking at the square root of 80. Start by writing out the prime factors using a factor tree for 80. If you don't know how to write out and find the prime factors, be sure to click the card above for a video explaining that. Now we can rewrite the square root of 80 as its prime factors, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And now since we're dealing with square roots, we want to take a look at our numbers and see if we can find any pairs. And we have two sets of pairs, and we're going to rewrite our radical as the square root of 2 times 2, that one pair, times the square root of 2 times 2, the other pair, and whatever is left over the root of 5. Now we can simplify what's inside the radical to the square root of 4 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, and we can actually solve for those radical values. Square root of 4 is 2 times 2 times the root of 5, and we can simplify our final answer to be 4 root 5. The second example asks us to again write the radical as a mixed radical for the cubed root of 144. The cubed root of 144 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now since we're looking for the cubed root, we look at our prime factors and say, are there any triplets? Can we make a group of 3? And in this example we can. So we're going to write the group of 3 in front of whatever is left over. Okay, now we can actually go and rewrite the first radical as the cubed root of 8 multiplied by the cubed root of 18. And we can simplify to get a final answer of 2 times the cubed root of 18. The last example tells us to write the entire radical as a mixed radical, this time for the fourth root of 162. Write out the prime factors of 162. And since we're looking for the fourth root, are there any quadruplets that we can make in this example? We can. So I'm going to write the quadruplet first, the fourth root of 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and what's left over from my original radical, the fourth root of 2. Simplifying that, we can say that would be the fourth root of 81 multiplied by the fourth root of 2. And again, we can get an actual number value, and the fourth root of 81 equals 3 multiplied by the fourth root of 2. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below video ideas you'd like to see, and please subscribe to the How-To Scholar for more how-to videos.